Hi everyone. I am Cindy from Lenex. We are doing a pre-shipment testing of the communication protocol between our lithium batteries with the Grovewood inverters. The batteries we are having here is, is the 48 voltage 100 amps lithium battery. And the inverter we are having is the SPF 5000 years from Gorowat. From Gorowat. So I will show you how to set up on the Gorowat inverter if you want to do communication with our battery. Let's press this enter for three seconds. Let's start. Let's choose the code here to be 005. Zero zero 005 is instead for the battery mode. So we enter, and then here LI indicates lithium battery, and we have use flood battery, AGM battery, use and use two is also for the lithium batteries. But since our battery can be compatible with the inverters, so we can choose LI directly. After we choose LI mode, we enter, then it will come to 036 automatically. Here we have to set up the code of the communication protocol. Our battery, since we are verified by the Growward inverter, so we have a code between our battery and the Growward battery. It's L51. After you set up this, then we have done the setup. After you set up, we can see the details from the screen of the of the inverter. Here is the voltage and the city power. So we are connecting with the city power. It's charging. And here is the SOC of the battery. The current. The temperature. So only when it's connected by the communication protocol, you can see the details from the screen. Otherwise, you have to check the details from our battery. So this is the inverter screen. After we connect it with our battery, you can see the voltage of the battery, the city power, the charging is charging. So here is where we connect with the city power. And we can see the SOC of the batteries and the charging current. So after the battery is connected with the inverter by the communi by communication protocol, so we can see all this information from the screen of the inverter. Now let me show you the batteries. So here is the battery. We have two pieces of 48 voltage 100 amps in parallel connection. When we are doing the parallel connection, we will plug on the RS485 cable from the first battery and connect to the second battery. Here is the second battery. Then this port is for the CAN communication port. This cable will be connected to the inverter BMS port. So this is enable the communication function. And uh, let's see what will be shown on the screen of the batteries. In case of our battery, is not matching with some of the inverter's brand. So we can see the details of the battery from the screen. It's charging. So here is the voltage of this battery pack, battery pack, and it's the it's the current. We have four checking points on the temperature inside the battery mode.
and here is the cell voltage information. Since this battery is 48 voltage, so we have 16 strings of cells inside to number 16. The voltage of each cell is very good. It's in very good conformity. So this battery will work very stable.